hey guys welcome to my channel in today's video I'll be responding to some comments this was a request that was made from a number of you and uh, this is a request on how to connect easy worship in OBS if you're interested in knowing how to do this Kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed so that next time when I post a new video, you can be notified. Easy worship is easy. Connecting easy worship in OBS is easy. There are very few steps that one has to take. And let's do it together. Okay, so since my OBS is already open, I'll go and open my easy worship. I already have it installed. We'll be using Easy Worship 9. If you have got Easy Worship 7, the, the procedure is almost the same. I'm using a trial version. So I'll say continue. Okay, so this is the interface of Easy Worship. Like I've already said, Easy Worship is easy. We use Easy Worship to beam scriptures and song relics in church using the projector and the same can be taken into OBS so if I open my uh, my easy worship like this the next thing that I'll have to do is always remember to come here where it says go live so that uh, what you are beaming here can be showing on the second screen. So this is the screen for the projector and it's the one that we are going to take to OBS. So I'll go back to my OBS. Don't forget what I said when starting. Easy worship is easy. Here is what you do. Like I always do it. I like playing a video loop in the background which can be mimicking a, a live camera. So I will go to my media source and just bring in a video which I'll be which I'll be using like a camera. I'll put it on loop so that it can be repeating itself. It'll be a very short video. I have a clip. Okay, let me see where it goes. I'll click on Control S so that it fills my screen. And I'll say Transition. Then I will lock it so that it's not moved by mistake. So now since I have my loop video, which is giving me a view of a live camera, here are the easy steps to follow to bring in Easy Worship in OBS. And that's all says, come on the plus sign. Click on window capture. Add window capture. Give it a name. We'll name it Easy Worship. Say OK. Once we are here, come here where it says window. Click on the drop down arrows. Then this will show every window that is open. Mind you, you want to capture one of the windows. So our interest is Easy Worship. Easy Worship will have two windows. There's the default profile window is where we control Easy Worship from. It will show you everything. This is not the one we are interested in. The one we are interested in is this one. Easy Worship Live Output. So I'll click on this one. There it is. Like I told you when studying, Easy Worship is easy. I'll just come here and say, OK. Transition there. This is how easy it is to bring Easy Worship in OBS. Let's say you want to change it to Scripture. Just go back to Easy Worship. Go to where you change scriptures from, like you do it always. 
you type in there let's say we are looking for Matthew chapter 3 verse 16 See here, just say, say here, go live. Once I say go live, when I go back to my OBS, my Matthew 316 will be here. Okay, so this, this method will make your easy worship to fill the entire screen. In case you do not prefer it this way, there is another way where you can uh, uh, bring your easy worship to just be showing down here below there as a lower third. If you are interested in learning that, let me show you the easy steps to follow. Go back to your easy worship. On your top left, go to the settings where it says uh, live here. Click on it and say options. Under options, don't touch the general settings here. Come here where it says select output monitor. Output monitor, come on the drop down arrow and say custom position. Okay, scroll down a bit so that you can see what is below there. Don't change the left, don't change the top. Just change the width and the height. Put the width at 1000. Put the height at 130. This is not standard. You can change it according to your preferences. Between 120 to 150, you are going to have a good lower third. So I've gone for 130. Say OK. So now the height has been changed. Let me go back to my Easy Worship. Mind you, I had switched it off. So here it is. OK, there it comes. I'll just drag it and change the size. Adjust it a bit. And put it where I want it to be. So now, my scripture is coming as a lower third. Hey guys, if you have learned something, please drop me a comment. If there's any topic that you would like me to touch on, drop me a comment as well. If you have not subscribed, please consider subscribing. YouTube analytics shows that thousands of the people that are watching my videos are not subscribed. Come on guys, do me a favor. I need that subscription for me to reach out to many people out there. The more you subscribe, the more YouTube will be suggesting my videos to other people so that we can learn together and network as one team. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers.